It's Monday, November 24th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. Well, folks, it's worse than we thought. Turns out Barack Obama isn't a secret Muslim after all. In fact, he's a godless heathen who worships at the temple of his own physique. Barack Obama has yet to attend a church service since becoming president-elect. Instead, he chooses to hit up the gym on Sundays. Now, perhaps he's just taking his time to find a new church. You know, one where they're not constantly cursing America. But I have to say, Mr. President-elect, uh, turns out that's most of them. I guess Barack Obama would rather be shaping amazing pecs than singing Amazing Grace. A transition official says that the Obamas have so much respect for places of worship that they don't want their presence to draw unwelcome attention to those places. I guess that just translates into lavish attention on sculpting the guns. Something I, of course, understand very well. So the next time Barack Obama makes a public religious utterance, it may well be when he's sworn in as president. And it turns out a lot of people are going to want to see that. With each House member only getting 198 tickets to pass out, these tickets are hotter than the fonts on water skis. So, how are you going to get one? You don't know any members of Congress. Or if you do, they probably don't like you. So here's the plan. The inauguration is going to be on the mall, right? So what you do is, you sneak into the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History, like now, and live in the museum for the next two months, sleeping secretly amongst the woolly mammoth display. Then, on January 20th, come out of the museum onto the mall and soak up the history. Oh, what's that, Internet? That's just a cheap rip-off of the plot of the mixed-up files of Mrs. Basilie Frankweiler? Okay, okay, fine. I admit it. When I was younger, I read books. Finally, if you're a Republican, you probably always knew that Democrats were sloppy. But little did you know that sloppiness may cost you an election and any semblance of power in the Senate. As the Minnesota recount drags on for the Senate race between Republican Norm Coleman and Democrat Al Franken, Republicans are worried that careless marks made by Democratic voters could help Franken come out ahead. That's because Democrats don't play by their rules, man, because filling in bubbles is for squares. You know, like Republicans. In fact, take a look at this proposed ballot for the next Democratic primary. Kind of hard to determine voter intent there. Everyone's a winner, though. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotegi for more videos. And don't worry, our intent is never sloppy and always crystal clear right here on Kotegi TV.